In this video, we will look at Netflix, ticker NFLX. First, we're going to look at the recent report. Then, we're going to outline the main reasons for the recent drop in price. And then, we will try to come up with a fair value of Netflix stock. So, let's get started. First of all, if you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing the subscribe button under the video. It is absolutely free and you will not miss a single new video. Okay, if we look at the main regions by sales, we can see that the most revenue comes from United States and Canada, and then comes from Europe, Middle East, and Africa segment. If we look at total subscribers, we can see that the most additions were in Europe, Middle East, and Africa segment. If we look at the revenue of Netflix, we can see that for the last 10 years, their revenue grew from around 5 billion to 30 billion which implies the annual growth rate of 15 to 20 percent. If we look at their book value per share, we can see that the growth was from less than 5 to 35. If we look at the earnings per share, we can see a stellar growth in the last year. But if we look at the stock price, we can see from the beginning of the year, the stock is down almost 40 percent. So what is the reason behind this drop? If we look at the recent quarter growth, it was 16%. But the projections for the first quarter of 2022 is only 10%. So that is a significant decline in growth. And what is even more important is that in the first quarter of 2022, management is projecting only 2.5 million new subscribers versus 4 million subscribers one year before in the same quarter. So that is a significant decline in the subscribers' growth. And I believe this is the main reason why the stock is down so much. By the way, if we open their 10K report and open the risk section, this is the first risk that is outlined. The risk of not attracting new subscribers. Management is obligated to list all the risks. So this section is extremely important to read before investing in any company. I believe the main reason behind lower subscribers' growth is competition. There is a lot of streaming providers with great streaming services. If we look at the projections, we can see that by the year 2026, Disney will have more subscribers than Netflix. Right now, Netflix is the dominant player, but it's not clear if Netflix will stay the dominant player in the coming years. Okay, now let's try to come up with a fair value of Netflix stock. First, we'll need the growth rate. Analysts of Wall Street are projecting the growth rate for the next five years to be around 14%. If the growth rate will be lower, I believe it's reasonable to assume that the price to earnings will be also lower. So we will use price to earnings as double the growth rate of 28. I have made a separate video how to make this type of calculation. What we basically do is that we take current earnings per share, grow them using the growth rate, multiply by future price to earnings, and then discount them back to today using the required rate of return of 10%. After adjusting for net debt, we get the fair value of Netflix stock of around $350 per share, which implies that the stock is currently overvalued. Also, I personally own the shares of Discovery Communications. After combining Discovery Communications with Warner Media, a new streaming giant, the competitor of Netflix will be formed, Warner Brothers Discovery, and I have made a separate video where I analyze the valuation of Netflix, Disney, and Warner Brothers Discovery, and according to these metrics, Warner Brothers Discovery is significantly undervalued. Here is the video about valuation. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you can do this by pressing this button. Thank you very much for watching till the end, and see you in the next video.